Hello everyone, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. This is a video with a little difference. We're here at Forest Hall Football Club, where you can see behind us a five-a-side match. And you're thinking, well, why are you here for a five-a-side match? Well, the reason why we're here is because it's all about man versus fat. And Lee, what is man versus fat? It's to encourage men who are not very happy about their personal appearance. Uh, we're doing a lot of work with the Newcastle United Foundation, which obviously people would have seen on the channel already. And it's to, to do stuff that they love, which is... Going mad, kicking a ball around for an hour, which is fantastic, half an hour in some, some circumstances. And obviously we'll hear from Lewis in a moment, but um, yeah, to encourage men to feel good inside and outside. It's a fantastic initiative and how we've just we just basically got here half an hour ago. And you come in, you get weight and see how you've done the week before. And we've literally, everyone has lost weight. You know, we've obviously not seen the actual figures because obviously that you, see, you see the confidentiality, but it's working. And Lee, that's the whole point. If you can get a good positive mental health and a good positive health by playing football, socialising with your mates, fantastic, isn't it, all round? Well, we've both lost weight, haven't we? Yeah. So, um, obviously, I've put a little bit back on again, which I'm looking to do. I'm blogging it, losing weight again. But we've both lost weight. We know what it does. You get that bit of confidence in. Oh, look, can he good? Yeah, you know, you do, you get that thing and you go, hey, I feel quite, not sexy, but it's confidence. If you're a single lad and you lose weight and you might give you that bit more confidence going pro to lady, for example, or in general, just make you feel better about looking in the mirror. Um, a simple thing like maybe brushing your teeth, you look at your body, look down and it looks good or going to work. And I think the one thing that people who lose weight and probably we've both both experienced that is when other people compliment you and say that and you say that they compliment you that's a massive boost for you you can say yeah i completely agree the compliments is it's one thing you thinking that but if other people can notice it, it makes it 50 times better massively but yeah lee has grabbed lewis for a quick uh, interview and let's see what he said about all things newcastle united foundation and more importantly man versus fat so it's basically for males, obviously, um, who are overweight, um, trying to get them active. Also a social event, as you can see on the plane now. Um, some are friends, some aren't friends. Um, come together on a Tuesday night at Forest Hall. Uh, six a side league, uh, trying to get them down to the weight that they want to be and also to enjoy playing football again. Man v Fact approached uh, Newcastle United, uh, the foundation, basically for to try to get participants, obviously some people that come that have gone through mental health um, who have just not interested in playing football anymore. Um, also other commitments like work, families and that, it's hard around trying to get to playing football so on a Tuesday night it's good for the fellas to come here to try and lose weight and play football. So they come and get weighed uh, prior to the games that they play. Um, so the, the scoring is they get a trophy then for the, the winners of the league, so points wise. Also the case of there's 5% uh, uh, weight loss and 10% weight loss which is rewarded at the end of the presentation and also the last trophy is the team that, uh, sorry, the most weight loss and the points so it's combined as one. Uh, so there's basically two trophies and then you've got your 5% and 10% certificates at the end. We've got the one at uh, Benwell, uh, Newcastle and North Tyneside, there's loads over the region so you've got Manchester, you've got London as I know of. This league's been going, this is just a new league, uh, it's going six weeks now. Uh, I think the impact is because it's a new league, uh, people are a bit wary of what's going on, like how it's a bit wary for themselves to come and step on the scales in front of us. Um, we're just here to guide them, help them out, encourage them to lose weight. We're not here nutritionists to say, eat this, eat that, don't eat this. Um, the impact, I think, is, the, as you can see, you've been watching, uh, that it's good banner. Um, they get along, but sometimes when you think, right, fair enough, there's a bit calmer down, but they just get on with it, and you can see it there, and they all shake hands, and they're all happy to leave at the end with a smile on their face, which is good for us as well. I think, obviously, we come with the gear on, the badge and that, which is it's power, it's massive, um, but I think also it's the case of Man V Fat, that slogan, Man V Fat, they're trying to lose that weight. Um, we're just here, like I said, we're just here to help them out, um, encourage them, uh, officiate games, help them when they come and get weighed, ask them how the day's been kind of thing. Um, yeah, just, it's mostly, you can say on the pitch, they really want to be here to lose weight and a social event as well. So there's Man V Fat, uh, fish, the Fish League, um, that can go on there. The, um, you've got obviously the North Tyneside ones there. Um, you get a link, so all the lads have got WhatsApp groups, so captain groups, uh, they've got, we've got a group as well, so if anything happens, 
Friday at the game, if weather-wise, we'll call it off. They'll know. Uh, the captains have got their leagues, uh, group chat, sorry. So they can discuss what time games, who can't come, who can come, and all that kind of stuff. Basically, we're trying to get um, a lot of Newcastle supporters, supporters of football, to open up about mental health. Um, people pass by and ask how you're doing, ask twice. Um, just open up about it. Um, I know I was going to say open up about it, but it's quite hard to say that. Um, just try and get encouraged people, families, friends, everyone, just to come and to talk about it. Well, that was really, really inspiring, and obviously the work that Lewis does with Newcastle Foundation was it's fantastic work, and hopefully that keeps on going. I've managed to speak to a couple of people who have played in this game. It's actually half time where it's one one, and let's see what they had to say about man versus fat. Uh, well, it was about uh, two years ago. Um, I had a heart attack, I had a couple of stents put in and I'm a type 1 diabetic as well. I was over uh, 22 stone um, and started off doing a little bit of gym work, got completely bored with it, obviously I love football, saw this on, on advert on Facebook, thought we'd give it a go and three of us joined from work, um, been doing it ever since, so I've lost, um, I'm down to... 17 stone now so it's coming off not as fast as I'd like but it's coming off and I'm now playing for half an hour we play Thursday nights between us for an hour so the fitness is, is superb you know and the camaraderie as well and we have a good laugh and there's now six of us from work that do it so they've done an article at work about it and, and stuff like that so encourage other people at work to join up as well you think when you're saying it will be quite an easy just a slow paced game but like you can see, it's quite, it's quite energetic, and even though it's big lads, like people are getting stuck in. There's no like, everyone wants to win. It's sort of just like that football thing that you get where no one really wants to lose. So it's really it's decent. It's really good. And I think I've played like been involved with football like all my life since I was like, like ten year old. Then you get to a stage where you play Sunday league, and you just like you're overweight. You, you don't get in the game. Um, so you drop out and you you just start playing five side with your friends stuff like that. I seen that on Facebook, and I just thought like. It's a chance to shine a little bit because you think if there's other big lads there, you'll be able to skip past people and stuff like that. So, and I think that respect, you think everyone's going to be on your level. It's not like loads of kids giving you the run around for an hour, what you used to get, like playing five side down at goals and stuff like that. So, I think that was the main attraction for me. Like, it's people of your probably ability and standard. And there's some really good players and there's some, some average players, but. I think just getting playing football with people who are like a similar stamp is a, it's a good feeling because you don't feel like you're out of place at all, so it's probably good. Uh, I lived abroad for eight years and we came back through work up to the North East, so I know literally nobody other than a couple that I worked with and joining Man v Fat. And it is, doesn't matter what team you play on, people will ask you, did you lose weight? Some of it's because they want to know whether they've sc you've scored against them. Um, but it's great fun and you, you weigh in in front of your team and I've just come out the changing room before this game and four of our team immediately go, did you lose? You know, and one turns around and says, oh, I'm on a hat trick as well. So you start adding up the points before you even get on the pitch. So it, it is, we have, we have some good fun. I think a lot of people just want to play football, I'm not going to lie, like, just want to play football and play football with people that they, they think that they can get on with, that the similar standard to. Um, obviously the, the, the objective is to lose weight, so if you've got weight to lose, then it really is like the perfect opportunity for you, because the more weight you lose, the, the, the more scores you get on the pitch, so if five people on your team lose weight, you're already two and up going into a game, so that is a good, like, a good incentive. Um, the social side of it, you get like a group, we've set up a group chat for everyone in the team, and then we've got a group chat for the full league. So we're organising 11 side games and playing against teams from Sunderland and Durham and the Newcastle Man versus the fact they've got a 11 side team. So there's like loads of stuff going on in the area, um, and everyone's just like everyone's got the same goal really: to lose weight and play and have a game of football, but have a, a good game of football and a competitive game of football. So you'll find anything that you want to find, like. If you want to lose weight, perfect. If you want to just play football, perfect. If you want to just maintain your weight and you're a little bit overweight and you just want to get a bit of fitness, I think it's perfect for anyone really looking to do anything like that. So it's good. It's, it doesn't matter what your football ability is. I mean, I played a reasonable standard when I was fit and a lot younger. But the difference is, is you can contribute and win games by losing weight. 
you know, for your team because the way you win games is even if you win 5 0 on the pitch, you can still lose because the other team's done the weight loss. So it is all about the WhatsApp group as well. We all encourage each other. If someone's away for a holiday and all that, we accept that, but there's a little bit of banter going on for it as well. And, and if someone puts on, then you just give them extra confidence and just encourage them to try and try and lose for the following week. If you if you if you're feeling like a little bit unsociable, it's an easy place to come. It's half an hour. It's not like a, you know, you don't have to come for you know play 90 minutes. You're not travelling for. You can just come. You meet a few new people, but you, you have your own team, so you get that team like that team spirit. But obviously, there's other lads here that you can get like you can get on with and have a chat with before the game then you can play a game and if you if you if you want to just come and go that's fine so there's there's, there's loads of positives if you if like I'm someone who come from football so I know loads of people in football if you haven't got that and you want to come to somewhere where you want to feel part of something then football's the ideal thing there's, there's nothing better in the world than football to, to get involved with so I would say that's probably the perfect thing I'm 52 years old you know we're just out there. No one makes a mistake on purpose. So you just encourage them all the time. Um, and, and that's what it's all about. Just to, we all look forward to coming. It is a social as well as losing weight. On a Tuesday, like you're all, you know, who's available tonight? Are we there? And then you talk about the team that you're playing against and who their best players are and things like that. And then Wednesday, we're all got our eyes on the website to find out what the result is. And if it's not there by lunchtime, we're screaming at the coaches saying, Where is it? You know, because you, you do take it, it, it gets taken seriously because you want to lose the weight and you want to win the football as well. The hardest thing is coming the first week. Once you're here, then you see it, you get part of it. Everyone sees you the following week, says, how are you doing, hello, and stuff like that. It's just, that was me. It was just getting my backside off the sofa and playing football again. And, and the rest, I mean, there's, on a Thursday night where there's, there's 28 of us that play, and what it does is, one is we love it, and two is it helps us with the weight loss as well. So I'm playing twice a week now, whereas two years ago I was doing nothing. I was sitting in a hospital bed after a heart attack. Um, and my me, me diabetes, the control of my diabetes is, is the best it's been for 10 years because it's helping with the weight loss um, and I'm watching my blood sugars all the time because I want to encourage it to, to lose the weight and I'm eating better stuff, you know. I used to have a takeaway a week, now we treat ourselves at home to one a month. So Lee has heard from Lewis, I've spoken to a couple of fans and you can just tell the good feel atmosphere around Forest Hall and around losing weight in Lee. Again, we've touched about mental health, but how, is, how important is mental health, and especially nowadays with the amount of publicity it gets? Well, we've only seen it with Danny Thorpe, didn't we, recently, so he uh, unfortunately uh, passed away. But, you know, um, we're trying to help, we're trying to raise the profile. This is just something little that men love to, so everyone who watches this channel loves football first and foremost and I encourage you to get out there and you're playing the sport you love whilst losing weight. I mean, there's two better things, what two better things can you do? So yeah, um, it encourage it. There's going to be loads of links in the description. It's not just Jan Forest Hall, if you're local, there's one in Benwell and there's, it's not just that, it's not regional, it's actually national mm -hmm. as well. There's loads of links, have a look at it in the description, it'll tell you more and where you can find your own league and join the league as well. Get involved. Exactly, get involved in Lazlet Lee says all the links will be in the description if you want to get involved there's a few teams in this league and they want to try and expand it and get into season two season three in the months and years to come so yeah that's mainly from forest hall football club with man versus fat like and subscribe to newcastle fans tv and we'll see you later on